<laughs> what? That's how many different things there are to love about your face. Oh, it is so sweet. Eleven. Oh, thank you. No, that's what time we close. <laughs> May I give you the check? I'll get this one. Oh, come on, at least let me pay for half. Nope. You've bought the last three, and the necklace, and the hot air balloon, and the symphony tickets, and oh my God, seventy-seven fifty. I mean, is that all? <laughs> thank you very much. Well, thank you. Oh, it's my pleasure. <clears throat> you do realize, though, now that I'm paying, you're going to have to put out. Oh, I'm pretty full. I don't know that I can promise seventy-seven fifties worth. <laughs> okay. Guess what I am giving you for our one month, three week, and four day anniversary. A one month, three week, four days is traditionally the tinfoil anniversary. I'm taking you to Tahoe for the weekend. Oh, that's <laughs> fantastic. But um, where's the tinfoil? Miss Keene, you have a phone call. Oh, thank you. Phone call. It's probably the uh, overpriced risotto association thanking me for my recent purchase. Uh -huh. Your credit card has been declined. Uh, uh, well, um, I'll deal with that after I take the phone call. <laughs> there was no phone call. That was my tactful way of not embarrassing you. I'm not sure it worked. <laughs> the credit card company has turned down your card. Well, that's just strange. Would you like to put it on another card? Uh, yes. Okay, um, all right, this will be easy. Okay, um, okay, take $40 from this card, and then, uh, yeah, thirty-seven fifty from this one, and, oh, here's a birthday check from my Nana, and I will just endorse it over to you for the tip. Fine. But I'm not writing Nana a thank you note. Not that there's much to thank her for. Consider yourself lucky. The valet guy's getting chapstick. Everybody wants a girl like Susan. run this morning, huh? Yep, the endorphins are still coursing through my body. Yeah, I can smell them from here. <laughs> yeah, about that run, uh, listen, as much as I love getting up early in the morning and helping you train for this 10K, I think I'm out for a while. This damn ankle, it's an old injury I got in a high school football field. Yeah, playing in that marching band is no picnic. <laughs> wait, 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 there is no way that I spent that much in one month. I'm sorry, but your statement shows that you spent $682 in restaurant charges alone, Miss Keene. Ever heard of Tuna Helper? Yes, of course. It's just that, well, my boyfriend and I were at that stage where we go out a lot. Well, sure. He probably wants to show off that $230 cashmere sweater you bought him on 1229. Hey, that's what it was on sale. You could have gotten it for less at Macy's. You know, a lot of other people did. <laughs> What am I supposed to do? He, he spends like 10 times more on me. I've got to give him something back. Does it have to leave you broke? What about breakfast in bed? How about knitting him a scarf? You know, here in Tulsa, there are actually places where you can rent videotapes of recently released movies. <laughs> okay, all right, fine. I will stop spending so much money. Right after this weekend. Oh, no, 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 Missy. You are not going to Tahoe. <laughs> about Tahoe. You guaranteed the room, excuse me, the deluxe suite on your credit card, or should I say our credit card? Oh, well, I already told him. I, I, oh, I can't... Oh, no. Code red. Ellen Shulman is back at Banana Republic. I'll call you back later. This conversation is far from over. I have got to start spending less money. We're earning more. Why don't you get a second job? Please. Ren, I'm, I'm a writer. I mean, that's like announcing to the whole world I'm a big failure. I have a second job. I, I'd be a failure. You, Miranda, you're a winner. No, I'm a loser, because I'm gonna lose this job when I'm 45 and retire in Boca Raton. <laughs> yep, you and all the other old Jews. <laughs> so what are you gonna do? Well, I just overextended myself a little bit. I'll just tell Oliver no Tahoe. Oliver. Oh, listen, um, about the weekend... Oh, you know what? That was, like, the coolest surprise ever. I'm just glad I was able to cancel that photo shoot that I had next week. Oh, you canceled the job? I mean, maybe you should take it. We can go to Tahoe some other time. Well, no, no, it's no biggie. The Pope will come back. No. He always does. 
I am so looking forward to this weekend. Mm. Mm. Me too. <laughs> Here, girl, you keep on spending. There'll always be a pull-out couch for you and Boca. <laughs> see me? Well, this is my lucky day. Oh, <laughs> so you liked my article, huh? I thought it needed a little work. Oh, well, then by all means, change it. Wow. <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence. <laughs> Absolutely. There's nothing worse than a poopy diaper. <laughs> oh, you're on the phone. I know. Excuse, excuse me. Oh, a hot stock tip. Well, far away, Gerald. You've never steered me wrong before. <laughs> well, Polygon, you say? Right. Well, I'll get onto my broker right away. And what is the stock symbol? It's P-L-G-R-N. Cheerio, Susan. Uh, I'm sorry, I won't get round to your article this week, okay? I'm going to be a VIP at the PGA Pro-Am in LA. <laughs> really, would you ask Miranda to book me a flight from SFO to LAX ASAP? <laughs> and I shall need my ELO and my Run DMC CDs back. <laughs> What are you doing? You said you'd go jogging with me. Hurry up and change because I can't let my heart rate get below 150. <laughs> and frankly, seeing you in those baggy pajamas with no makeup isn't helping. Oh, I'm sorry, Luis, you're just gonna have to go jogging by yourself. I just opened up an e-trading account and they're processing my credit card. Oh, Susan, what are you doing huddled over a computer when you should be out breathing the morning air and, and uh, greeting the glorious day, you know, and communing with nature? I just got an insider stock tip. Insider tip? Move over. It's from Ian, some uh, internet stock. Oh, man, if you get in at the right time with those internet stocks, it's like, it's like printing your own money without the risk of a prison term. Really? Oh, yeah, you can make a thousand percent return, no problem. Oh, there's a polygon, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe I'll buy some when I get to work. Oh, well, I am just gonna go ahead and help myself to 50 shares. Bye. Why, you're welcome for my order. <laughs> Very polite transaction. <laughs> hey, look, it just went up a point. I made 50 bucks. Wow, well, congratulations. Now, come on, let's go. Actually, I don't think I need the run. My heart rate is in its target zone right now. <laughs> oh, my God. There it goes again. Hey, I am good at this. Oh, my God. Okay, 500 shares. Are you sure you want to make this purchase? Yes, I am. <laughs> Hello? Are you insane? <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Saunders? Did you really think you were gonna get away with this? That's twice what you've ever spent on anything. Well, I know it's a lot of money, but I got this stock tip from my boss and he knows these things. Oh, I see a stock tip. Well, that's completely different. You know, I know tons of people who are slaving away at ordinary jobs and then they get one good stock tip, boom, instant millionaires. Really? No. <laughs> Look, it already went up two points. Could you give me a little credit? I think that's how we got into this pickle in the first place. <laughs> Bonjour, mes amis. I've got croissant. I know that they are très cher, but only the best for my friends. Oh, yesterday was donuts. Today, something Italian. Huh? Who are you, Rockefeller? Nope, Stockefeller. I'm rich and rich and rich and rich and rich. Oh, look, a fellow stockholder. Excuse me, while we do the polygon handshake. P-L-G-R-N, Yeah, you know what, <laughs> forgive me if I don't share your enthusiasm for a, a stock that falls 10 points in one day. 10 points? How did that happen? Oh, well, well with uh, general fluctuations in, uh, in the marketplace. What, what do you see with supply and demand? There's often self-correcting moments. You bought a turkey. <laughs> okay, well, what goes down, it's gotta come back up, right? Not in my experience. <laughs> The stock had a bad day. It doesn't mean it's dead, right? Well, it's not a good sign when it appears in Jay's monologue. Oh, no. On the bright side, Jennifer Tilly was her usual effervescent self. <laughs> Polly Garn dropped 10 points. I'm sorry, I don't follow women's basketball. <laughs> Polly who? Polly Garn. Polly Garn. Garn. The, the tip. You know the tip you got the other day? P-L-G-R-N, Gerald. The guy never steers you wrong. He's got the kid with the poopy diapers. <laughs> You didn't take that tip. No, I didn't take it. I, I borrowed it. I mean, I, I wasn't intending on 
All right, I took it. Susan, Gerald is my demented cousin who believes he receives stock information through his fillings. <laughs> and if you must know, that poopy diaper was his. Okay, then. The next time you're talking to a blithering idiot, lower your voice. Will do. <laughs> Susan, great news about Tahoe. Uh, yeah, listen, um, about Tahoe... See, I found this company that will airlift us by helicopter to Virgin Snow, so I booked us a reservation. Look, Oliver, I really... I, I know, to... I know, you wanted to pay for everything this weekend. <laughs> Don't worry, you can reimburse me. <laughs> oh, God, this is gonna be great. <laughs> hmm. Miranda? Uh-huh. Uh, remember how you, you know, mentioned that, um... I should, um, get a second job. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. <laughs> you, you remember how you mentioned that maybe I, uh, should get a second job? Oh, I think I do. Was that before or after you called me a failure? <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that, really. I'm, I'm just, I'm in a bit of a jam right now. Do you think maybe they're hiring? Well, just be at this address tonight. Okay, well, what exactly does it entail? Oh! Girl, you just show up, and then you help move some old things around. Very good, Mr. Goldfarb. <laughs> you know... If you tip that pot, some of it will magically go in the cup. Yeah. I saw David Copperfield do it once. Uh, Nate, you're such a... such a... Half-wit, dumbass. <laughs> Take your pick, it's an insult buffet. Yeah, what she said. You don't look so good. And I know a lot of times I say that for fun, but this time I mean it. <laughs> you try being stepped on and pawed at and thrown around by strange men night after night. Try it. I invented it. <laughs> Miranda, I do not think that this dancing partner thing is gonna work out for me. I mean, the, the tips are lousy. Last night, all I made was $14 and a couple of individually wrapped butterscotch candies. Girl, if you want better tips, you gotta work for it. Put a little more fox in your foxtrot. A little more jitter in your jitterbugs. A little more down in your shicker down, shicker down, down. Okay, I get it. Or plan B, girl, just let the old man grab your tush. How do you think I got the butterscotch candies? Ian Max told Graham's office. One moment, please. Line three. Yes, hello. Yeah, this is Miss Saunders. I'm calling to verify the employment of a Susan Keene. Good luck. I've been trying to verify that myself for the past four months. So you're the genius who gave her that lousy stock tip. Now, wait just a moment. I didn't give it to her. Uh-uh-uh. You got it from your crazy cousin. Susan got it from you, and now she's all tapped out. Oh, so she made a bad investment. I mean, like me and reversible shoes. I mean, you win some, you lose some. That's easy for you to say. You know what happens if Susan goes belly up and files Chapter 7? I get fired, and the next thing you know, I'm writing that dumb column for your dopey magazine. Look, she's out a few bucks. She's not destitute. Oh, yeah? She's moonlighting as a dance partner to make ends meet. That's just a heartbeat away from porno. <laughs> <laughs> Tempting though that vision may be, Miss Saunders, you sultry tongued devil. <laughs> it's really none of my business. Just like it's no one's business that you spent. A total of $1,700 at the Little Tokyo Massage Parlor, not even including massages? There's got to be something I can do to help that poor girl. Thanks, babe. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Hello. Quick, quick, good, good, good. Well, Mr. Norahito, you certainly are light on your feet. Whoa, oh, okay. No dipping, Mr. Norahito. Bring me up, now. The spirit is willing, but the body refuses. 
Thank you for the honor of your dad's companionship. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Hey, Miranda, I just got a $50 tip. Oh, well, that's great. All I got was a copper arthritis bracelet. Hey, aren't you a long, tall drink of water, though? <laughs> I'm Arthur. May I have this dance? Yes, Arthur, you may. Oh, <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, 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 that was excellent. <laughs> oh, we're stopping? Yeah, oh, you wore me out. <laughs> but here. Thank you. Okay, and now the dance for lovers. Care to tango? Takes two, I understand. <laughs> No, 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 I'm not here to dance. No, I'm, I'm Secret Service. That man in the cardigan over there, that's Grover Cleveland. Luis? What? what? What are you doing here? Well, I'm uh, training, of course, for the, the triathlon. You know, there's the, the, the 10K race, and then there's that uh, two mile swim, and then there, there's the menudo dance. <laughs> Fine, okay. I knew you wouldn't take a loan from me. What, so you gave money to all these men to give to me? No, just no. And Mr. Norahito. Who? Mr. Norahito, the man who's standing over there arguing with Ian. I don't care if you threw your back out. You're on my clock till 11 o'clock. Now get out there and dance with her, okay? You wuss. Hello, Ian. Oh, oh thank you for the honor of your dance companionship. How did you guys know that I was working here? I, well, you must have mentioned it. Oh, no, that's impossible. I mean, the only person in the office who knew anything about Back it. Back away fast, two, three, four. <laughs> Look, I think it's really sweet what both of you are trying to do, but I got myself into this mess, and I'm going to get myself out one tango at a time. Come on, Arthur, let's get down. Why don't we just have a dance and see how that works out? Uh, well, as long as you two are here, there's a couple wallflowers that need to spin around the floor. But uh, watch out for Dot. She's real sweet, but she's all hands. <laughs> Mr. Munch, you're gonna have to wait your turn. Uh, may I cut in? Oliver? You mind? Well, you can have this dance, but you better watch your back in the parking lot, pretty boy. Okay, now, let's mambo! What are you doing here? The mambo. Apparently, that's the only way I can see you lately. How did you even know I was working here? I got this very odd phone call from Miss Saunders who said maybe you wouldn't be working here if I didn't have such expensive taste in sweaters. Yeah, she's tough. Well, cashmere whore was hurtful. All right, everyone, merengue! Isn't that a dessert? No, just follow me, you'll pick it up. <laughs> well, Susan, why didn't you just tell me? Well, because, I mean, I was embarrassed that I had to dance to make extra money. <laughs> what do you need extra money for? Don't listen to that bum. I'll take care of you, toots. Do you mind? Get lost, Nancy boy. Oliver, I don't have your income, okay? I can't just keep spending money the way you do. Well, who is asking you to? Let me pay for things. I have plenty of money. That is not the point. Susan, who is keeping score here? I am, okay? And you know what? I don't want you to just always assume that you're gonna be paying for everything. I mean, like, the other night after dinner when you just automatically paid the valet, I resented that. Oh, so that's what that thank you, you're such a sweetheart, was about. All right, everyone, let's samba! Can we talk about this in Tahoe? Okay, we're not going to Tahoe. You're kidding. No, I, I, I can't afford it. I didn't want to tell you because I thought you'd get disappointed and see, look, you're disappointed. Oh, actually, I am thrilled. What? I never wanted to go to Tahoe. It's disco time, let's do the bounce. Not with my new hip, sweetheart. The copter skiing in the virgin snow. I just I did that because I thought you were so into it. I mean, I hate cold weather. I can't even ski. You can't ski? Oh, can't ski real well. You know, like the expert slopes. And, yeah, that's what I meant. I can't believe you're broke. I am not broke, okay? I just I just spent a little bit extra at Christmas. I'm not, I'm certainly not. All right, I got 47 bucks to my name. I can't even stand on a bunny slope. I can't believe how afraid we both were to just be honest with each other. Well, I was just waiting for you. All right, everyone, the conga line starts right here. Oh, well, as long as we're being honest, um, I color my hair. Mm. I'm supposed to wear glasses when I drive. I wear a retainer at night. Mm. 
I don't get the New Yorker cartoons. I'm wanted in five states. Oh, well, I was, uh, I was born a woman. I was born a man. Oh, I could learn to like a guy like you. <laughs> so, you seen anybody? I don't know. <laughs>